Pisces. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Yes, indeed. I am back at it again for your May 2019 reading for your energy going on. All right. So what's going on? I'm trying to say for your May forecast. I was trying not to say it, but you know, I'm just going to say it for your May forecast. <laughs> Because it's raining like shit right now. I'm like, I don't want to talk about no forecast. It's raining like shit out here right now. Anyway, listen. What's up, Pisces? What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's going on with you, baby? What is going on? You know what? Um, I'm going to do a little treat for y'all. I'm going to do a little treat for y'all because for some reason, I don't know why Pisces, y'all be really, you know kicking through the door, waving in the fofo -fo like everybody else be. But I'm going to give y'all a treat. I'm going to give y'all a treat because I'm going to treat y'all special this time around because I most definitely think y'all Pisces is special. I don't know why y'all don't be clicking my video like that, but whatever. Whatever. I did get a new deck, y'all. Y'all see this? Yes, that's because I ordered the love and support. So thank you guys for all of my Pisces that has been clicking these videos and that's been sticking it in with me. Thank you because... This right here is for you. This right here is for you because I love all of y'all that's been sticking it in and hanging in with me. And I hope that you guys get the message that Scorpion Red Tarot has been trying to kick your way. Listen, as if anyone wants to book a personal or private reading um, with me, you can do so by clicking the About tab. First thing you need to do is book then link. All right, click that about tab that says Scorpion Red Tarot and simply book me, book the reading. Then double on back over to that about tab and you'll see my Instagram link. Send me a private message so we can link there and have our video chat for your reading. If you don't have Instagram and prefer not to use Instagram, you can um, download Google Hangouts and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a private message on Google Hangouts so we can do our video chat there. If you prefer not to get on camera i don't um you know suggest it because it's better when we can exchange energy and you can ask me questions back and forth and we can kind of engage better that way however i do understand um maybe it could be an availability thing or you we can be international so i get it if you prefer to have um a direct video upload there is an add-on option okay it's called a video recap and the menu for the booking so what you need to do if you even just want a live recording of the whole session so you can just go back and watch it and have it forever forever ever forever ever you can have that as well so Purchase your reading and then purchase the add-on option, okay? And then if you do not want to get on camera, what you need to do is still send me the message because I need to have the platform for us to, you know, converse back and forth. Because after you send me your message with the question, only send me the question, okay? Don't send me what you have going on around the situation. Only tell me what you want to know, okay? So once you send me the question, I'm going to record the video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. It's a private link. Only me and you will have that link. And I'm going to send it to you. And you'll be able to, you know, take a look at your video, okay? So if you want to send some love and light over to the page, you can do so. My Amazon wish list and my PayPal is in the description, all right? And it is on the About tab as well. And because of all of the love and support that you guys have been sending to the page, I got this tea leaf deck. So... Let's see what we got going on in the future for you guys. This is like, you know, a little bonus for you guys. And hopefully you'll come back. You know, I'll get some new people. Y'all come back and, you know, see, you know, we be kind of cool. We be cooling around here. You know what I'm saying? Come and chill with, come and chill with your gal. Come chill with me. You know? Come and find out what the deal is with me. You feel me? Oh, voids. So, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Let's get into this. So, let's just do a quick prayer. Y'all already know how I do. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Pisces. Thank you so much for all the love and support and the uh, happiness and abundance and the freedom that we've been experiencing, Father God. We have been, you know, making big changes. We have been breaking chains. 
We have been breaking changes, Father God. I'm, I feel like we have been completing some cycles. Um, some things that we might have went through maybe two or three times, but, you know, three third times the charm. You know what I'm saying? We are breaking chains and we are changing and we are completing cycles in our life, Father God. And we are moving forward to new chapters. And thank you so much for just, you know, the freedom. You know, we just feel like we just got air beneath our wings. We just soaring right now, Father God. So thank you so much for helping us swim upstream, Father God, and not look back at the past anymore. We going forward. We ain't no keep going round, round, back and forth. No, we swimming forward, okay? So, you know, we going to go round and round. We going to go round and round in the pool of life, uh, happiness, laughter, you know, fulfillment and luxury. That's straight up the stream. And then we going to swim back and forth. We going to keep circling around in that pond, okay? You know, just to keep reliving that happiness and that joy. That's we, we just need to be in the right atmosphere. And we can go back and forth for all we want, Father God. So thank you so much for that movement. Thank you so much for the freedom. Thank you so much for helping us be able to just float with the flow of life, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance, Father God. Thank you so much. All right. So let's find out any guidance for the sign of Pisces. What month do we need to focus on right here for this bonus? Thank you. Give me guidance for the sign of Pisces. What is the month of focus here? Thank you so much. What's the month of focus for the sign of Pisces? Ooh. No, nope, that's too much. What's the month of focus? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being present. What is the month of focus for Pisces? Thank you so much. Okay. Month of focus is October, Pisces. Month of focus is October. Everything all is going to fall together, okay? So, what is going to be occurring? Ooh, happiness. So, happiness is going to be the center of focus in the month of October for you. Pisces, so let's see what's going on for the first half of October. Give me guidance for the first half of October for Pisces. Thank you so much. What does it say? The key, successful outcome to your problems. Okay? So you're going to get the key. Successful outcome to your problems is going to be coming in the month of October. Okay? Give me additional guidance for the first half of October. It says the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So I feel like, you know, for you guys in business, especially you guys that work for yourself, you know, and you guys, you know, like contractors, you know, I feel like you guys are going to be making some very shrewd and I mean, just being sharp as a fox. Listen, respect my hustle. I got to get paid. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing wrong with learning how to negotiate with the best of them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're going to be very smart, very tactful, and you're going to have a lot of resources. You're going to be very resourceful, and people are going to need you, and they're going to pay you very handsomely <laughs> for the keys that you have. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you worked hard to obtain those keys, and they're going to pay you for it. And you're going to be a shrewd, shrewd businessman. Yeah, they're going to have to come, they're going to have to be a little quicker than that. You know what I'm saying? Try to get over with you. Handshakes. A meeting with a stranger could be important. All right? So you may have a handshake with somebody that's a stranger. It might be, you know, a chance meeting. You know? Your car broke down or some shit. And you just so happen to be at that goddamn, uh, you know, that gas station at that time. And you might so happen to meet somebody. Somebody that might help you find the key to success to all your problems and the things that is going on with you. And I think because of whatever has been going on in your life in 2019, it helped you be sharp as a fox. <laughs> it helped you tap into your animalistic nature and realize, you know, sometimes you be in, in you know, running around with the wolves and things like that, you know. You might not be no wolf, but you sharp as a fox, and you might be a little smarter than them. So you understand? And before you shake hands with anybody, I think you want to make sure that all your business, I mean, 
all the I's are dotted and the T's crossed. And you're going to shake a hand that is going to bring you into some happiness and a successful outcome to your problems. So, you know, be prepared for that, Pisces, in October. First half. Let's see what's going on in the second half of October. Not. Nah. Mm. This is unsuccessful plans. So let's see what's going on with that. What's going on with that? Why they saying, give me guidance for the second half of October. Guidance. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that was a lot. Okay. So what popped out? Okay, so like we said, the knot. I think maybe something might not go as planned as you expect it to because it's saying unsuccessful plans okay things might not be going as plans but it says weeping willow something might not be going as planned in regards to a family situation because it says family sorrow seems like in business things might be working out but maybe not in regards to matters of the heart in regards to your family says the flute Disappointment in a friend or lover, yeah, most definitely. Might be a disappointment in a family situation. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. And that looks like one of them vases that they be having with funerals or just dead flowers in there. Yeah. yeah. You might be untying a knot with someone in. in you know, you, you, you guys might be going through a breakup or something like that. Family sorrows and untying and not disappointment in the family. I love it. Yeah, I feel like there might be a disappointment that's going on in regards to your home situation or with the lover, but wishbone. But a wish will be granted. A wish will be granted even though there's a breakup in regards to this family unit. And I'm saying that because it's saying a broken ring, a parting of ways in other romance and business. There's a parting of ways in regards to romance. I definitely feel like, yeah, this is something in regards to, uh, uh, but <clears throat> Pisces, I want to say like almost possibly by your actions in a way, because it's not, was, it, it looks like it's being, yeah, like it's someone untying the knot here. So it seems like maybe that, maybe that's, you know. I feel like the untying that is not is something that you wanted and something that you didn't want all at the same time. And I feel like it brings you sorrow, but it's a wish granted at the same time. Does that kind of make any sense? You know, because who wants a divorce? Who wants, who really wants their family to fall apart? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's not that you really, you know what I'm saying, wanted this broken wing. But I feel like at the same time. It was a wish fulfilled because this broken ring <laughs> put you out here where you were. <laughs> Reconciliation. But this broken engagement gave you the, the chance to kind of go out there and just kind of jump around and fuck around like a jackrabbit. But that's what kind of broke this situation up because it says too much concern with sexual matters. Too much concern with sexual matters broke this situation up. You know what I'm saying? Because you were too... You were too busy jumping around like a rabbit. Fucking around like a jackrabbit. Things is going good in business. But I don't think that things are going good in regards to your home environment with your wife or your children's mother or your husband or your kid's father. Do you see what I'm saying? Because someone was fucking around like a jackrabbit. And it broke the situation up and it is sorrow about it. Because they, they kind of tied up and they kind of got some loose ends. And that's why I'm saying like it hurts, but it's a wish fulfillment all at the same time. You see what I'm saying? But then you got pineapple right here. You know what I'm saying? You got pineapple. So it's like, you know, like, uh, 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 what is it? Um, 
Kevin Hart was like, that's the safe word, pineapples, pineapples. You know what I'm saying? Like, pineapples, pineapples. You see what I'm saying? So, it was like, I feel like, <laughs> like, this is the safe word. This is the safe word. Like, this, you know, it's like, it's like they, <laughs> it bought Pisces happiness to kind of untie that knot a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because they could have a little freedom to kind of jump around and fuck around like a jackrabbit. Or like I said, they were doing it before. And that's what kind of got some loose ends going on here. You know what I'm saying? And, and your plans ain't kind of go out, go as you wanted it to. Because maybe you really want to try and get caught up or something like that. But you did. And, and it brought you family sorrows. And yeah, you disappointed. Because I feel like maybe you didn't think your partner was going to leave. Or maybe your partner didn't think that you was going to leave. But you know what I'm saying? You blowing the flute. You you playing a, 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 a song. <laughs> a sorrow. You know what I'm saying? But for somebody, it was a wish fulfilled. It was most definitely a wish fulfilled. Hold on, you guys. Because my thing is fine. It's like... Uh, yeah, like some straight up Pisces water sign shit. It's like one minute you happy with the fact that y'all broke up and one minute y'all not happy. You know what I'm saying? Because you was out there doing what you was doing. Because you was out there doing what you was doing. Jumping around like a jackrabbit. Which you was doing anyway. And kind of made you feel good. For a slight second. But I feel like when the going went tough, you know what I'm saying? Like, now that you kind of out there and you jumping around and shit, you like, hold on, bitch, pineapples, pineapples. Like, I ain't trying to be out here like this. You know what I'm saying? I was a little bit too concerned <laughs> with sex. Pineapples. You know what I'm saying? My safe word. I ain't feeling safe no more. I ain't trying to do this no more. I'm trying to reconnect. I'm trying to bring this on back. Pineapples. You know what I'm saying? I was concerned about the wrong thing, jumping around like a, <laughs> like a jackrabbit. You understand what I'm saying? I done broke this disengagement. I broke this, this love up. But it would be my wish fulfilled for us to get back together. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really disappointed the way things went. You know what I'm saying? Because it's bringing me a lot of sorrows about this. Our family just being broken like this. This ain't go as planned. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Bitch pineapples. <laughs> like basically. Like that's basically what's going on. I feel like. In the first half of October, I feel like you're going to get happy because your business together. And then I feel like in the second half of October, you're going to realize what your true happiness is. You see what I'm saying? Because you got one aspect to your life together. And it's just like, okay, I had this aspect together, but I fucked it up. Because I was too busy running around out here like a fucking jackass. You know, like like a jackrabbit. You know what I'm saying? Like a jackass. Like a jackrabbit. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like in October, it's really going to hit you like... It's all going to come together. It's all going to come together. So, that is the future forecast for y'all. That is the tea leaf future forecast for my Pisces. I hope that... You guys, you know, like that message. I hope that y'all like that message. And y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like that. Because I feel like some of y'all feel like that shit resonating with me right now. <laughs> like that shit resonating with me right now. I could definitely see that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know? Especially in the matters of that relationship, that family sorrow. I feel like some of you guys are possibly going through that right now. And... So, if that resonates with you in a current moment right now. So, basically, what that's telling you, you already kind of... And, and, and I didn't even really have to tell Pisces that. Like, I, I feel like you already knew that. And you can already feel that now. So, you know, if you could possibly do something now, if you're feeling that now, you do something now to make that better before October. You know what I'm saying? You have free will. You know what I'm saying? To do and make any type of improvements that you need to make you know so give me guidance for my pisces thank you so much for that guidance for october give us guidance for may thank you intentions all right so they're saying you need to change your intentions 
and you change your intentions it says don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps all you need is the next action you can say to love just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it it's just time to make a change it's just time to take the first step Pisces like you don't have to fear the future you know what I'm saying you don't have to fear Things that ain't even happened yet. <laughs> you, you ain't when you ain't even take the first step. Like it's just it's time to change your intentions. I feel like you need to put your intentions on the day and now. You know what you can do right now in your current day. Maybe even just if it's just as if it's a little thing, just making a call or making sure that you pick someone up or making sure that you stop by your mother house to take her trash out or you know what i'm saying taking your children to the park whatever it is that you know that you can do on a personal basis that could just be that first little step even if it's a microscopic mic microscopic step at least you did it that could like get the wheels turning to process the next action, the plan of action for you. You get me? You got to get your intentions together. Intentions is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intentions is that God's wish for me to come true. All right. So let me read that again, just in case my tongue got outside. Intentions is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intentions is that all God's wishes for me to come true. You see, so you need to get your intentions together and you need to just make actions to change. You know, and you need to possibly change your intentions and possibly just your train of thought. You know what I'm saying? Your thoughts create manifestations. You see what I'm saying? So your intentions, what your mind is constantly intended on thinking on all the time. Like, don't focus on, well, what if this happened? Change your intentions. Your intentions are your thoughts. You see what I'm saying? So change your intentions and keep that in harmony with what you want the universe to bring you you know what i'm saying and especially if you see certain signs that the universe is trying to bring you certain blessings and everything like that align your attentions with you know what i'm saying you see all these butterflies that i see a hell of a lot of butterflies it's time for you to spread your wings it's time for you to fly you see what i'm saying and i believe i said something about Feel someone feeling light and flying like air beneath their wings in a prayer so it is really time for you to fly little butterfly like seriously and it's all of these um um flowers here it's time for you to do your job in nature i believe butterflies pollinate flowers don't they like how are the flowers and like how you have a part in the ecosystem you feel what i'm saying so i need you to get your intentions together and doing your part in the world you know what i'm saying because you so scared like oh well what if i get see a, this type of butterfly what if someone try to capture me and put me in the museum and shit like you don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you don't know what's gonna happen okay and five okay okay so this is the five of swords this is basically what i'm getting um I feel like there's been a lot of chaos going on and you've been going through like a mental battle within yourself, like a very tumultuous battle within yourself. And I feel like you just trying to like, I feel like you feel like this is a lose lose battle for everybody in this situation. So it's like, listen, can we just kind of maybe just everybody put they put their guns down. Everybody let's put their guns down. All right. And let's just try to come to a compromise and shit. And maybe we could just agree to disagree. But at least let's just try to. Like, I feel like someone is trying to, like, be mature. You know what I'm saying? Like someone is trying to be mature amongst the chaos and just like, let's just put our swords down and just hear each other out and just. 
<laughs> let's just let's 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 just try to like clear up all this chaos. Like it's it's too much. Like because if someone doesn't be the mature person in this situation, it's gonna get nasty where Whereas though it might have been just mind games and manipulations and and, and, and shit that might have hurt you mentally and emotionally, I feel like it could get physical. You see what I'm saying? Because people are playing too many games and they're playing too fucking much. And the shit is already dirty and y'all gonna be rolling in the mud. So it's just like someone, like I just see Pisces like, look, this shit is immature. You know what I'm saying? Let's just... You know, and it, and it might be on Pisces' part, just realizing, like, look, I ain't even, I don't really want to engage with you like that. Like, we, we, we could do this shit a better way. Because maybe Pisces might have been drunk. Maybe the person that they were dealing with was drunk, in love, maybe just intoxicated. You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe Pisces or the person that they're dealing with is not drinking anymore, that they've sobered up. I feel like they're more aware of actually how serious this type of situation here can get. And I don't even know what type of situation this is. But whatever situation it is, it's been very chaotic. And it's been something that's been on Pisces' mind a lot that needed change. And I really do see that Pisces is making a change from within. I definitely do feel like there's a lot of Pisces that might have been going to some type of AA counseling or something like that. And they're cleaning up because, as you can see, all of these cups are being offered to them. And typically, they would have drunk them all. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Pisces are like, nah, like, I don't even want that shit. Like, nah, bitch. No, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm changing my intentions. Like, that ain't even the type of person I'm trying to be anymore. So, I feel like maybe Pisces might be just aware that them going at, at, at situations like, oh, well, I'm going to win at all costs, so it don't even really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, them being, you know, self-consumed, self-fulfilling, just caring only about what was benefiting them, you know, at the time. Just taking whatever was being offered to them. I'm taking it all. I'm taking it all. And it don't even matter because, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm willing to tell you whatever, do whatever. Con, stab, steal, kill. You, you know what I'm saying? To get away with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, it don't even matter how y'all coming at me. Because when you a drunk, a drunk person speak a sober mind. So, I feel like this person have it be Pisces that was like this. Or the, uh, or, or the other person. But I feel like this person was high or drunk a lot. They were very self-consumed, possibly very narcissistic. And I feel like if you confronted them about their behavior, they were on attack. And like you were on the losing side of this shit because they were willing to do, they willing to go hard. You know what I'm saying? To protect themselves or protect their investment or whatever. Protect their cups. That they want all to their self. You know, it's just like this energy right here wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? It's a someone who don't give a fuck about nobody but their self. This is a self-consumed person. And it's like this is someone that is willing to believe their own lie just to put on a theatrical show to make you believe it. And then if you're smart enough to be like, nigga, you acting. Like, I, first off, I know you're lying because I have proof. They'll pull out their sword. But like, bitch, what you mean? You see what I'm saying? And then they'll try to intimidate you like that. But you be like, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, Slim. Like, you drunk. You high as shit right now. You just, yeah, just get the fuck. What did I say, though? You see what I'm saying? Like, that type of shit. You're like, oh, my God. Like, this, that, that right there ain't cool. That right there ain't cool. And I'm not necessarily saying that someone is like that extreme or the aggressive. There are some people that could have been like that. But it's just like literally saying whatever lie or scheme or whatever it was that they were trying to do and get away with. Whatever type, whatever it was. They were willing to consume their own lie just to make it believable to get what they want. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So, 
this person, I feel like they realized that they had to change. I, I they realized that they had to change. Yeah. Because they were too turned up. You see how they went from a five to a four? Look, you see how they went? You see how they went from a five to a four? You see what I'm saying? So they had to reduce it. They had to bring something down. You know what I'm saying? And they had to, to <laughs> they had to bring it back to self. You know what I'm saying? Five take away four that equals one. That is taking leadership and taking responsibility about your own actions and like trying to implement some implement some change in a new beginning and resetting your attentions. And I feel like this Pisces or this person that Pisces has been dealing with has reset their intentions and they are more aware. They're not drunk anymore. They're not they're willing to make a compromise now. And I really do want to say apologize for their actions because I really do feel like they're aware of their actions now. And I want to say that they look at themselves and they're possibly ashamed of how they've been. Because I want to say ships have sailed. You know what I'm saying? And I am ships have sailed and they sent a message out and they're waiting for the ship to come back in so that they can move forward into the future you see what i'm saying because they've searched and they've looked long and hard to figure out where their issues are where they need to go and just figure out this is not something that i need to think about this is not something I just need to emotionally get grounded on and understand. This is something I need to fucking make action on. This is not just something just to be... You know what I'm saying? Because you know there's people that are just like... Yeah, you know, but they've been thinking about it. Okay, you're thinking about it, but what are you doing about it? What the fuck are you doing about it? You see what I'm saying? And I feel like Pisces is like literally... Possibly like scouting new neighborhoods, new jobs, new loca new locations, just new situations to go and just make a better situation for themselves. You know, and a new environment. They try to change their intentions, and I feel like they really do want a clean slate. And they're waiting for their ships to to, to come back in. They're waiting to get a good message that it's okay to move forward. You know, because they're trying to make right and eliminate you see how these swords haven't pierced this heart you do see how they you know that what is that a vulture or whatever that is a crow or whatever looking for dead meat so this this pisces is realizing what they did or what was done to them and they've healed their heart they've removed those daggers from their heart and they recognize what they need to do so that shit can never the fuck happen again you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying and it might be a pisces is waiting to get a message that someone's has heart has healed from some third party heartbreak shit so that they can move forward i am getting that that they're waiting to see if they can make a move on something and see if someone's heart has healed yet. You know? But on a, I, on a high level, I really do feel like they see what heartache and carnage, <laughs> a third party situation, like cheating. They know what being self-consumed and wanting to get what you want so bad under any means necessary that you willing to lie, manipulate, and hurt people that really didn't deserve it. All because you were drunk in love or you were just whatever the fuck. You see what that did to it. not only the person that you hurt, but the person that you were fucking with. That person got hurt too. And you too. So you see what type of heartache and carnage that that bought you in the past. And that's why you changing your attentions. Pisces is learning a fucking lesson. They dropped that burden. They said, man, before I even start fucking around doing some dumb ass shit like that, I'm going to just go ahead and put that burden down. That shit ain't even worth it. Because not it ain't make me look good. You know, like, I, I, I 
look at and regard myself as a man's man. King of Pentacles. And that shit ain't make me look good. That ain't that. And, and I feel like they were almost embarrassed as a father. You know what I'm saying? As a role model in their community. Like, I'm really getting this, like, serious. Like, I feel like this person is highly regarded in their community. They have a lot of people that look up to them. They work hard. You know what I'm saying? And this Pisces... It made them look completely opposite of the type of person that they that they are on the inside, like deeply as a man. And it's like I will never pick up. <laughs> I will never even begin no bullshit like that ever the fuck again. I would never ever, never ever of ever ever. You know what I'm saying? And if I could send a message out to see if this person has healed themselves from this. And I can move forward and make a move back on that shit to fix my old home situation. I could. But at the end of the day, just the way I made myself look off of past situations. <laughs> just the way that I made myself look on past situations. I don't necessarily. I might be waiting for a while. You know what I'm saying? I might be waiting on a, for a while for that. And, you know, I might just need to change my intentions on that, too. And just maybe leave some shit in the past in the past. And just, I, I just got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to keep moving. Because at the end of the day, I feel like, I feel like, so I just heard I got to prove myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I do feel like there's somebody that they really fucked up. Being a fucking narcissist and being self-consumed. And please forgive me, I'm not trying to offend you. But the person that this is, they're not offended by that because they know what the fuck they did. Like, I swear on everything. They're like, Rez, I know what I did wrong. And they are really, they're really fucking sorry. They're really sorry. Like, they don't want to put this person through anything where they will ever have to compete again. Because it's just like, I feel like the people that they were in competition with... Like, they didn't even, like, like, they didn't know how to work together. You see what I'm saying? Like, it didn't, they didn't know how to work together. Like, their ideas, like, clashed and, you know what I'm saying? And it just, it didn't really, like, this one wanted to wear plaids. This one wanted to wear stripes. And, you know, plaids and stripes, that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Plans and strikes, that ain't right, that ain't cool, that wasn't never a line of school. You couldn't go to school bamming out like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, it's not a match. Made in heaven. Maybe it's having a laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like how you be mixing the Slurpees and you can just bam your Slurpee out, but just somehow it'll just come, regardless of what you mix together, it can just taste good and shit. This ain't 7-Eleven, bitch. This ain't, this ain't open 24 hours for your pleasing, bitch. Okay, so this ain't work out the way you wanted it to work out, honey. You see what I'm saying? And I just really feel that you just, you're not up for all of the drama no more. You're not up for all of the drama. You're not up for the gossip. You're not up for, you're not up for the gossip. Like, you're not up for the gossip. You're not up for the embarrassment. You're not up for, well, this is how I feel. Well, this is how I feel. And this is how I feel. And this is how I feel. And it's like, ever all, look, ever we going to come to an agreement or we just going to, Again, like I said, with the five of swords, it's like coming to a mental a, 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 a mental part in your life where you realize and look, we just going to have to come to terms and agree to disagree. And then this is like when you putting the sticks down. I done made my mind up about it. And not about just, I'm not just thinking about it. I'm actually, I'm just not even about to engage with y'all like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I am not. I the fuck am not. This shit make me look bad. This shit make me look like a pimp or some shit. And like this Pisces, they don't want to be looked at like that. They don't want to have all this. They don't want to have all this drama. This it's not even about that. Honestly, you know it is about that. This this person does not want to be looked at like that. This is not who they are. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want to be looked at like that. They are like literally. I feel like this Pisces. Maybe retreating from all parties involved just to get their mind together. Like, I really see them, like, possibly moving 
and going to go stay with one of their boys or something for a little bit and like sleeping on their couch and literally probably going there and just sleeping for like a whole fucking two weeks like probably getting up going to work other than that just like fucking sleeping into this window opening and they feel butterflies flying in and they be like oh shit that's them butterflies reds we're talking about when the red reds keep talking about some fucking butterflies they go to butterflies again new beginning this Pisces is just like really getting some rest. And I feel like trying to rejuvenate their fucking energy because it's just like they recognize now how important that they are to the ecosystem. Ain't that what I said? You recognize the star that you are, how important that you are for everything to do what everything needs to do. You have a part in this. And just like everything that happened, you have a big part in this. You see what I'm saying? And you recognize that you are your own star player. And not only that, I feel like you're just getting your faith back in balance. You are starting to trust yourself. You are starting to refill yourself back in the... And these are the rich pools of hope, faith, purity, and intuition. I feel like you are purifying yourself naked. Like, literally, I feel like... Like I said, I do feel like this person feels ashamed for certain shit. And they are changing. It's just that they were scared to take that first step. Because the first step is literally stripping your soul bare. And com confessing, I guess, your sins. Or just the things that you've done wrong. And kind of just facing yourself in the mirror. N looking at yourself naked and bare. You know, like. Washing yourself off. Like, if you need to cry and, and, and cleanse yourself that way. That way, cry and get it out. Get it out. Get it out till you feel the salt tears running down your face. You can taste them on your lip. Get it out. That's cleansing. You know what I'm saying? That's bearing your soul to the world. It's like really understanding and feeling your emotions so you can process it and figure out how you need to move forward and change your intentions. Like I said, change your intentions. It's time for you to spread your wings and let your wings soar. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Like, this reading been so damn deep. I ain't even get into the other damn cards yet. Y'all gonna have a long reading. Cause especially because I gave y'all that bonus before. I'm probably not gonna get into all the other decks like that. So, um, I might do, though. I'm not gonna do y'all like that. But I just love y'all Pisces. I want y'all to come. And click my page a little bit more like for some reason like you guys are one of the groups that I feel like I need to give a little bit more attention to I feel like right now Pisces right now you're getting your faith you're getting your faith balanced and everything like that you were like bathing in that spiritual pool you're getting your spirituality together like you're really growing spiritually for real for real on a deep level especially my Pisces man Y'all are awake. Y'all going through y'all awakening. Like, that's why y'all been sleeping like that. You guys have been dreaming a lot. Y'all been having a lot of vivid dreams. And you guys are just... And I want to say, like, y'all, like, in this... Y'all been dreaming a lot because y'all like to stay in this kind of, like, dream, trance, spiritual world. Because I feel like you guys have been being shown a way to how to cleanse yourself and how to have this rebirth and the kind of like cleanse yourself and to start all over again because you feel like for a long time like you didn't kind of have no authority in your life like you like it was so many other people that could just press a button and just could just change things. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you know exactly what the fuck you want to do and where you want to go in life. And you just like, like I said, you needed to recharge your energy. I feel like you really felt drained by this whole situation. Right now, you know exactly what you want to do. You got your solar plexi chakras together. And right now, you just, you get in. Your heart chakra balance by being emotionally withdrawn from everybody right now. And you see this man is in his element by the water. I can see you guys being by the water a lot. Especially starting to get springtime. It's starting to get hot. I can see you guys wanting to go by the water. If not, just like taking long enriching showers. 
where you're just letting the water pour all over your head and you're just really getting your thoughts together. Like, do you see him? He is taking authority. Number eight means authority. You know what I'm saying? Like, you taking authority. You taking back charge in your life. You focusing on your heart matters. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't focus on anyone else right now. You're focusing on your heart. That's why you are emotionally withdrawn from everybody in the world. You see his attention so focused on him. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he's taking back authority. He's getting his intentions together. He's just changing his intention. And he's getting his balance together. What is this? Yeah, love begins. That's in the reverse. So I do feel like you're just taking your love back. You don't want to start no new love with anyone right now. You're pouring that love into yourself. Whatever love you had in any situation, you were pouring that out and you were pouring that shit into yourself. Like, you pour, you pour that water back into that pool of spirituality, faith, love. And you know what I'm saying? Where you were taking that bath. Like, you pour all of that shit that you, you know what I'm saying? In that pool and you stripped yourself naked and you took a bath in that shit. First, you cleansed yourself by purging on them tears and all of that held in frustration and emotions you were able to feel your emotions wipe your eyes you took a bath <laughs> you got yourself balanced spiritually emotionally recharged your faith recharged your energies and it's like <laughs> realizing what you have to do to take back authority in your life you know exactly what you got to do now give me guidance for pisces let me guidance for Pisces. What is this saying? Yeah. You unlock the key. That's why you've been resting like shit. You've been recharging. Recharging. And I heard finances. Like, you've been recharging. It's like, you feel like financially, like, other people just always had the fucking key <laughs> to your life. And you're like, no. <laughs> no. Um... I feel like there's someone that you're not able to look into your into their eyes. Your diamond. Your diamond could possibly be someone named Diamond. Um, I feel like you're not able to look diamond in the eyes. Someone that you gave a diamond to could possibly be your wife, someone named Diamond. Someone that you look at as the diamond of your world. You know what I'm saying? Crystal clear intentions. Flawless cut. You know? The flawless. Because like I said, there was a lot of people around. There's a lot of competition, but no one was that flawless cut BS diamond. You understand what I'm saying? That person that you will really offer that promise to and be serious about it. And there might be some Pisces that maybe before and in the future, like they weren't thinking about marriage or something but now they possibly are able to make that promise but it's somebody that they're not able to look in their eyes yet but they've unlocked the key to what they need to do but you need to be able to look at this person in their eyes and really make them a solid promise you see what i'm saying because this person is not going to accept anything less you know especially not a diamond they're not going to accept anything less one 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 this was in the reverse though Spiritual awakening. You were on the right path. Um, I feel like this whole situation unlocked that awakening. And this was in the reverse. I really don't read these cards, these number synchronicity cards in the reverse. But just in case, like, I feel like, you know, because someone is not able to look someone in the eye that they should be giving a promise to their diamond. You know what I'm saying? So if you weren't on the right path i feel like you're on the right path now because you understand now okay what is it saying bridge reconciliation you realize okay i get it now spiritual awakening why this wasn't a reverse I, I really do feel like realize that you guys are not realizing that this bridge is not to be walked back over anymore you see what i'm saying like stop trying to reconnect with someone where there, there was a bridge that was burnt like you need to have that spiritual awakening and you need to realize that certain bridges especially after all of this shit that was going on up here 
that bridge is not to be crossed again. It's done. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's done. You know? And then 666 is the last one. It says, raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. So, I'm trying to tell you, like, it's just certain things that you need to back away from. And you need to recognize that. And, and y'all don't take this. Y'all, I know, guys, I know y'all like, oh, my God, I'm about to click this video off. It's a card that say 666. What I just said, it means raise your vibrations and choose peace and harmony. Okay? And what that's basically meaning, like, I need you to, like, I need you to elevate. You see? Because feeling like you're not able to look someone in your eyes, in their eyes, mean that you're not ready yet. You know, still feeling like you need to walk over a bridge that's burnt and is done means you're not ready yet. You still focused on something that you, you it, like the big, the, the bridge is burnt, like it's done. You know what I'm saying? And you need to open up your eyes and stop trying to keep cross that bridge, not only for yourself, but for the other person. Because think about how you making the other person feel. You see what I'm saying? Either physical wise or energy wise, you know what I'm saying? Because people, some people are very sensitive to energies. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying like, it's time for you to like focus on the right path, not trying to get back over a bridge that's already done. Someone already that you feel some way about that you might not feel comfortable about revealing yourself to them like you, you don't want to look this person in, in their eyes so if all of that is there because of everything that happened up there change your intentions baby focus on things that will make your life fulfilling you know what i'm saying choose peace and harmony don't choose don't don't choose that and that's and that's why you up here saying that you trying to really come to a type of harmonious agreement where it's not going to be so much chaos and foolishness and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, real quick. Let me see what Pisces has to say to the person that they're involved with. What does Pisces have to say with the person that they're involved with? Pisces, what words do you have to say for the person that's on your mind? So, we got... I will come back for you. I will come back for you. I'm working towards a better future. Yep, yeah, I told y'all they're working towards themselves. They're getting themselves together. They're changing their intentions. My family and my upbringings are a bigger factor than I realized. Yeah, there was some shit going on with their family that impacted the way that they kind of kind of did shit and I want to I just heard like ruthless I, I feel like someone just like the way that they did this shit they went it's not that they're a bad person but just the way that they did this shit was just like so fucking cutthroat and ruthless it was just like god damn like you ain't had to do me like that my nigga you know what I'm saying like you was just you was all out for yourself and that shit like you ain't even give a fuck how does this person feel like um how does this person in pisces life feel what do they want to say to pisces thank you so much what does this person want to say to pisces i thought a lot about you lately all right what does this person want to say to pisces you inspire me I'm in a much better headspace now. I just heard without you. <laughs> I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. So I feel like on this end that Pisces knows that their family upbringing has a lot to do with the way that they went about things. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think that things had to go the way that they went. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like Pisces felt that they didn't have no authority in regards to their life and in regards to they didn't have they didn't have the key. They weren't the owner of the key. Like they it was like a borrowed key or some shit. I don't know. They just felt like they didn't have no authority. So like when it, it when shit got the popping, it was just like 
you know, like I gotta go, I gotta go for me because I'm tired of just not being able to just, you know, have no authority and you know what I'm saying? And it really has something to do more so with their upbringing more than it had to do with their woman or their man that they were dealing with. It has something more with them having some security with them not having no authority or, or them having a fight like that in their childhood. And then this person that they were dealing with, they were dealing with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're in a much better headspace now that they're separated. And they think about them a lot. And I feel like they inspired them. I feel like both of these people inspired each other to grow to be better people. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like they screwed things up with Pisces too. But at the same time, they're in a much better headspace now. And I feel like they learn a lot from each other. Um, yeah, they learn a lot from each other. And that's basically the communication that I have here. I don't. Well, I feel like I seen the card flipped over. The Knight of Swords. That was flipped over. I'm not taking that. I shouldn't even have been in there like that. All right, give me some guidance about how Pisces feel in love. Where's Pisces in love right now? For me. Where is Pisces in love for me? Where is Pisces in love for me? Yeah, four wands. They focusing on their foundations, their happiness. They're trying to, like, maybe there's might be some birthdays coming up or something like that. Where they might be a lot of, around a lot of family or people that they want to reconnect with or something like that. A lot of balloons, a lot of celebrations and things like that. I feel like... There's a birthday or there's some type of event um, coming up where hopefully they're thinking that, you know, can lead them back to this home, you know, because right now, whoever they're dealing with don't want to collaborate with them, possibly because it was a third party. Not possibly. There was a third party in the situation. So there was a third party that caused an interruption in this situation. And the person that they had this foundation and commitment with. That they're hoping when this event or this birthday party or this baby shower, whatever the fuck it is, happens. Um, when those balloons get set free, you know what I'm saying? That those things from the past can be set free and hopefully this person might want to, you know, reconnect and work with them, you know? But like we keep telling you, Pisces, you need to like let that shit go. If that shit going to happen... Let it come to you naturally. You need to raise your vibration and focus on something else. Because at, at the end of the day, you're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. Because I feel like this person ain't going to do nothing but bring up all of this treacherous shit that you did up here. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to be feeling some type of way. You're going to be walking away with your tail between your legs. And I don't think you're going to want that. Strength card. You need to have strength. You know, I like you. you need to kind of like... Kind of just... Strength to contain your urges in regards to this, especially if there is still a third party, because I slightly feel like there might still be a third party right there, because it was still like a lot of shit going on up there. Like you walking, it seemed like you walking away from all of these people because you trying to like they don't woke up the beast. You realize that I need to like control myself. I need to control certain shit because the person that I want to collaborate don't want to collaborate with me. And the person that I don't want to collaborate with want to collaborate with me. I just need to walk away and I just need to get. That's why I feel like Pisces could possibly be going to hide out over one of their man's house or some shit like that. Because, you know, right now the matters of their heart is like very serious to them. Right now, the person that they truly love is extremely important. That person in their family and... I feel like they're trying to restrain themselves from making a move towards this lover. Five of Wands here going number five, you know, because of all of the conflict in the competition. Yeah, there's still yeah, there's still a there's still another person going on. There's still there's still another person. Either the person that is dealing, either Pisces is dealing with this from someone. Where this person still has a lingering third party and shit like that, but yet still wants to kind of, it's like fighting the urge to want to go back to reconnect 
with someone that they realize now that they want to yeah three of cups celebration community community communication and stuff like that yeah it's like pisces thinks that when they meet this person and when they see this person at this birthday party at this celebration at this event at this reunion they think that when they see this person that they're going to be able to go back they think it's going to be their chance to go back to a love loss but they're still on some night of wine shit it's just going to be like they just won't go back and be there for a hot second and kind of go it's like they got one foot in one foot out the door you know what I'm saying and it's going to be a missed opportunity because this person that they're dealing with you know what I'm saying like they, they just like completely missing them. I don't think that they're interested in this shit no more. Because they still look at Pisces like they're this self-consumed person. That's still out there trying to do whatever the fuck they want to get what they want. And still playing these treacherous ass mind games. And it's not. They're not willing to sacrifice their heart and their mind. And their, this person that they're dealing with. They're not willing to do that. The Two of Pentacles. They're not about to wipe, walk that tight rope with Pisces. Well, Pisces is not willing to do that for them. You see what I'm saying? Because right now that four swords, they're healing. You know what I'm saying? They're still healing from this. Pisces, I think this is you, though. This is you. And this person is telling you that they, they're not interested. They're not interested. They're not interested. They're not interested in this shit. They are bored by this shit. So if you send them some type of communication, they're going to miss that shit. Because they focus on themselves just like how you was focused on yourself. And they're not willing to walk no tightrope with you. Because one minute you one minute you here, one minute you not. So it's just like, why are you trying to come back and celebrate when you know you still got all this looming conflict? And, and it's competition, it's three of cups, and then there's competition. And you still got all this energy. Like, no. You want lovers, not a love of your life, not a commitment. You still want lovers, and I'm not willing to do that. This person will literally resist you because they looking at you. See how this person waking up looking at you like, who, what? I know you're not coming back, back around here thinking I'm about to work something out with you after you don't broke up our happy home. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like they are laughing like they're in a better place like and they know that they screwed things up too but they're just like um but who did it first like you know like Pisces I really do feel like you need to change your intentions um in regards to love please give Pisces a chance in love please you need to you need to change your intentions this person is not, it's going to reject your offer. They're not interested in doing this shit with you no more. They look at you like you like to keep lovers. Like, even if you feel like that that was a mistake in your life, you doing that, like that was, I just heard like that one thing should not define my life. I get you. <laughs> that one situation should not define your life and it should not, but the way you went about it may have seen the fall October they go to October fall what's popping off in the fall for Pisces a compromise might be received in love in October compromise might be received in October hmm but you still want to be stuck in the same situation Mm. Mm. God, I wish I still had them teacup cards out so I can remember what the fuck. Yeah, you still gonna be stuck in a situation. I feel like a compromise is gonna be received, but you still gonna be stuck in a situation. So, in regards to y'all getting back together, the answer is gonna be no because it's still dry. Like I told you, like this person is not interested in you no more. Like, you went too far. Like, this person is telling me, you went too far. You went too far. 
is 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 shit dry. Like I'm willing to have a compromise with you. Like I feel like they're willing to have a compromise with you, or they're willing to have a conversation with you about this shit. And if y'all have kids, like they'll compromise with you on some co-parents and shit. But in regards to them forgiving you, no, they don't. The answer is no. Do they forgive you? No. It's not gonna be forgiven. So y'all need to move on. Y'all need to move on. Please move on, Pisces. Give me some guidance of what's going on in the shadows for Pisces, and we back up out of this, y'all. We getting up out of this, bitch. Give me some guidance for what's going on in the shadows so we can help Pisces move forward towards the future. And then the next spread is going to be for like what we going to look forward towards the future in in regards to this love situation because. Yeah, stop being so forceful. Like, literally, leave this person alone. Don't force yourself on this person. Like, this person feels like you went too far. They don't forgive you. What does it say? It's unlovable. You need to, like, get out of the space of feeling unlovable. You need to get out of that. You need to overcome this. That's why this is in the reverse. You need to overcome feeling unlovable. You see what I'm saying? You need to. And, and, and... Mm. Mm. You need to work on not being so cold and under what is it says? Dependent. Dependent. And you need to stop being so dependent on other people. You need to overcome being so dependent on people. Like you're cold. This cold card, I just was just like no one, no one can see your eyes truly. Like the truth lies between those eyes, and like there's a cold truth behind those eyes, but can't nobody see them. Like you hide the truth. What's behind? It's some like it's something about your childhood. It's something going on. What is this? It just fell down. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Alright, so Pisces just want you to know, like, even though it don't seem like they working. <laughs> like, even though they don't, even though it don't seem like this, this, this just fell down, you guys. So, even though it doesn't seem like they working, it doesn't seem like it too. The person that they want to see this shit to. But they are working like shit on getting their shit together. They focusing on their money. And they like. I Like I see them retelling their guard. And like they just. They in a yard. With like some bib overalls. And, <laughs> and a white beat and shit. And some new balance. It's like I'm playing. You better not fuck up no new balance like that. Anyway. um, Like tilling their yard. And like planting seeds. Like. Getting their garden together to to just like they really gonna eat this time. They really gonna eat this time. Like they are really changing their intentions. They focusing on their money and they want their future to grow the right way. You see what I'm saying? So and it's like I feel like you know I, I kind of don't even give a fuck if y'all don't think that I'm uh dependable or that I'm too dependent on people and shit like that. Cause guess what? I'm about to get you know what I'm saying. I'm overcoming that shit. So, might not look like I'm doing it, but I am doing it. And, 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 and Pisces just said, if you're not with me every day to see what the fuck I be doing, how the fuck you know what I'm doing anyway? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Pisces be in their little treehouse. I'm trying to tell you, I really do feel like Pisces ran the fuck away and, like, went in hot and hiding out at one of their boys' house. And they in that joint, like... They, they, they put themselves in an uncomfortable situation so they can be uncomfortable for a couple of weeks so that they can push themselves to build, to grow a rose out of concrete. But you got to get yourself not focused on this passion. Give um, the Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. <laughs> uh, Pisces like, man, look, I'm going to listen. I'm going to give my boo. I'm going to get my soulmate. Okay? 
I'm, I'm being a knight. I'm making steady, steady progress towards the money, and I'm making steady progress towards the honey. I'm, 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 I'm double fisting it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm milking both titties. I'm milking both titties. That's what I'm gonna name this one. <laughs> I am milking both titties. Okay, come on, Pisces. They're changing their attention. They said no. Slightly, I'm milking both tits. <laughs> Come on. But I really do, I really strongly feel like Pisces. They do not like this shit. They do not like how they was looking out here, y'all. They don't like that shit. They don't like that shit at all. And that's they're not trying to be forceful, but they not trying to. They try to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like, nah, I, I can't. I can't just, just, just. Nah, I can't just, no. Give me guidance for Pisces. For the future for May, please. Give me. Give me guidance for the future for May. What's going on in May? In general, what's going on? Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Like, you want to know? Ra, 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 ra. Okay. So should I deal? Okay, so they going they <laughs> they controlling the beast. They controlling the beast. All right, all right. I just heard southeast, south southeast. South, south, east. Hey, what? Southeast, south southeast. South, they like nigga. You don't know I'm from southeast. <laughs> I got this shit, mo. Oh God, trust me, trust. I got this shit, mo. Don't even worry about that shit. Like I told you, it might not look like I'm coming through to offer somebody, but in the nick of time, I'm sliding up on that ass. What up, boo? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? He got him a bad little thick little snickers. Got him a bad little thick little snickers. He milking both titties. Look, her titties look good as shit. Oh, God damn. Ooh, she look good, Pisces. God damn, I would have rolled up on her too. Shit, I don't even fuck with bitches, but I would have rolled. And she got the little, she bad as shit, though. Oh, I might have to pull over and be like, hey, sis, where you get them fabrics from? Sis, you doing me? You is doing me? Look, there go that five of swords again. Pisces is willing to at any means necessary. I will not lose. Okay? They are willing to do whatever the fuck they got to do. Say whatever they got to say. Play how they got to play. Underlay, underlay, underlay. They come an underlay. Underlay, underlay. Okay? They come an underlay. Like the motherfucking Migos. <laughs> I feel like they are really, really trying to overcome the bitch assness of the bullshit that they was doing. You know what I'm saying? But I do slightly feel like they still in they fuck bag. They still in they fuck bag. They still in they fuck bag, y'all. They still in they fucking fuck bag. They haven't got rid of this third party. Because to me, like, this represents, like... The Five of Swords, you still playing mind games and shit to, to try to get this person that it took you a long time to offer something to about their panties and you still got the... No, nigga. It's like I really do feel like the Pisces, like I got enough strength to milk both titties. <laughs> I got the strength to milk both titties. Because... The Nine of Swords, like, the Nine of Swords in the reverse, I really do feel like, and that black cat being at the top of the car, yeah, I feel like, I feel like this is something that is almost plagued the mind for so long, and I feel like the only way for them to release it is for them to have strength to go back and kind of face it, regardless of what they got going on, they feel like they can manifest this person back into their life. You know what I'm saying? Because them, this person in Pisces has a lot of history. They have a lot of history and they feel like their history trumps all this other bullshit. And that they're powerful enough to manifest this shit back into their life. The Ten of Pentacles because there was a happy home foundation there at one time. 
<laughs> and the love is in reverse. And they trying to get out of this way of thinking. Because this is, this is love to this person. Two bitches. Two bitches. I got two cell phones. You see what I'm saying? But you see how they go to one with the garter belt. There she go. They go to one with the garter belt. But you see how this one is being left off to the side right here? There's one being left off to the side right here. I feel like the one, I feel like this, the, yeah, he's, he's choosing the one with the garter belt. The dark, you know, the one with the dark hair with the garter belt. The real sexy one with the, with the titties that he trying to milk both of them titties. And the one with the, with the blonde hair, what is this one? The one with the dark hair is the one that's being chose. The one with the blonde hair is the one that's being left off to the side. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this Pisces wants to like this Pisces really wants to not be stuck in this situation. But we already seen if they that this Pisces is stuck. We already see that this Pisces is stuck. And this Pisces doesn't realize that if they don't, like, like Pisces. I understand that you have this history with this person and you feel like this history with this person trumps this other situation that you got going on. I don't know if the blonde, hold on. Okay, so I feel like the one that was left in the past, you know what I'm saying? Whoever was the one that was hurt. Because they chose this one or whatever. I feel like they're trying to fix the one that they were hurt. That You know what I'm saying? They're trying to fix something. They're trying to fix something. They're trying to... Whoever. I don't know. Light hair, dark hair. I don't know. Maybe the hair ain't got nothing to do with anything. But there's two There's two people. It's either two women or there's two men. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be vice versa. This could, this could be what's happening to a Pisces man or... Pisces woman did this to a Pisces I mean a Pisces woman did this to a Gemini man or something who knows but listen um this person has to realize like this shit right here is the cause of why nothing hasn't been popping off for them and been sticking like you've been getting some good opportunities to advance your life and your career and even some good offers and love and stuff, but it ain't sticking. It ain't sticking. Partially because you don't be sticking. You know what I'm saying? You don't be sticking because you stuck somewhere else, so you can't stick. Because you stuck. You know what I'm saying? So, Pisces, I need you to change your intentions. And keep in mind, remember, some shit is about to happen in the fall. So... Go run away, hide away like you want to do with your, you know what I'm saying? Go hide at, at, at your man's house to get your, to rest and get your shit together. Rest and get your shit together, you guys. And, um, it's time to change the game, you feel what I'm saying? Hmm. Out here milking both titties. Alright, I'll holler at y'all.